Holloway from Liz Holloway Design and Happy New Year to everyone. It's been a while since I last seen the video so I'm a bit rusty. I'm still fighting this viral cold and I know it's time to get my gears into place. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create the stained glass piece with the microfine glitters. This is an intricate die and it's from the 2015 occasion catalog. So let's get started. You need four dryer sheets and this can be purchased at your dollar store. What I'm doing is I'm stacking them all together and I'm bringing in my Big Shot. And so what you're going to do is fold the four sheets together and place it onto your Big Shot. Now the dryer sheet's got some kind of wax uh, coating on it so what I'm doing is now waxing my intricate die before placing the die onto my cardstock. You only have to do this once and then the next thing is then remove the dryer sheet and then place the cardstock through the Big Shot. You will notice how the cut piece is, is now stuck onto the die and so now I'm bringing back my dryer sheet and running it through the Big Shot again. So what you'll have, the sandwich is acrylic cutting plate, dryer sheet, the die and the acrylic cutting plate. Now this is the fun part. Watch how the die comes off the um, the dryer sheet and then here I am peeling away the cardstock, that cut piece and watch how all the intricate pieces stay onto the dryer sheet. No more poking around. Now if you have some odd uh, pieces that are stuck onto the butterfly, just take a, po a poker stick or a poking needle and or your finger. Now I want to cut another butterfly out so I'm using the transfer adhesive sheet which is used for dies or cut shapes and it's a double-sided adhesive. You want to peel away the protective sheet and as you peel away avoid touching the thin film. This is the adhesive. Carefully lay the cardstock onto the adhesive and burnish it with your hands and then this will ensure that it will, st it will stick to the film. I am now adding my uh, die, intricate die cut onto the cardstock and then this time you may have to um, Go, you may have to run through the Big Shot a couple times to cut through all the thicknesses because the backing of the transfer sheet uh, has got like a plastic uh, sheet to go with it. So it may take you a couple passes to get the cut right through. If you need to recut the cardstock, simply realign the die into the cardstock and the cutting edge will line into place and you can simply poke out all the intricate pieces or uh, taking your uh, dryer sheet and running it through the Big Shot again. Now I am taking a five and a half by four and three quarter window sheet and scored it at half inch along the four and three quarter side. I'm creasing the window sheet well with my bone folder and then and then now I'm removing the protective sheet off the uh, cut butterfly and lay it onto the prepared window sheet and burnishing it with my hands. Next, I am applying my embossing over the window sheet and this will protect the areas which I don't want glitter to stick and it sh when I shake it off, it will shake off with ease. And then taking your crystal effect and then applying to areas that you want glitter. I'm using uh, some retire stamping up micro glitter and I'm just pouring it liberally over and then shaking off the excess onto the coffee filter. If you find that you have missed some areas, just go back with your crystal effect and repeat the same process. I'm going to put some background music and have you watch what I am doing so that I'm, you're not listening to me talking. The micro fine glitters that I'm using are blue, gold, red, and dazzling diamonds. Look at how far we travel. Look at how much we've done. Truth is one person can matter as 
Look what ideas can become The journey to our destination Is what we remember today Go oh, celebrate How far we have come With what each of us has created We see there is power in one The journey is not always easy But with every step along the way Oh, oh, oh celebrate The difference that we Okay, so now what we want to do is clean up the areas. And so what I'm using is the uh, Swifter Duster um, fiber thing. And you can see how well it cleans up the work surface. And then any areas that are uh, sticking onto the window sheet, I'm just using that to dust it off. But you don't want to touch the main image just because you want to let it dry um, at least overnight or until the, the crystal effect is actually dry. So I'm going to speed up the uh, video process and then now here I am on adding crystal effect to the first uh, butterfly cut piece that I had and adding crystal effect to the the back of the uh, butterfly and then piecing it right on top of the butterfly. One thing I forgot to mention was that uh, at the um, earlier clipping I had already added crystal effect onto the uh, the top of the butterfly and just let it dry overnight and that's why you see uh, the uh, the shine of the top and okay so the next thing I have done was I cut a four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of designer paper and then I am just going to add a piece of um, a sukwang tape any medium that you have uh, on hand that uh, you can use uh, to secure the window sheet together. And then whichever side that you want, line the window sheet with the designer paper and then where the creased area is just fold it over uh, onto the designer paper and then um, glue a piece of cardstock which is the same size uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and then that will stabilize your card. Now um, you can write in it or where the butterfly is and so it's like a hidden message in there but I hope you enjoyed this video clipping and this is the end of my uh, video here and I thank you for stopping by. A list of supplies can be found at my blog at stamperspluscom and I'll link all the uh, materials used on the on my YouTube as well. So enjoy the rest of your uh, 2015. I'm not going to be around um, during February, March as I am going on a special trip with my husband and um, I will be back in April. Mm -hmm.